hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this elegant cool looking facebook logo reveal animation inside of after effects and special thing about this tutorial is that we are going to use only one ellipse tool and 3d layer concept to create this animation and we are not going to use any extra effects or any extra plugin so watch this video till the end to learn some interesting animation techniques so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. I'll call it as main. Sorry, main animation width is 1920, height 180, frame rate 30, duration. I'm going to choose 10 second long and background color is white color and simply hit OK. Go to choose grid and guide option and hit on title selection. Now I'll press Ctrl I to select my logo file. I'll simply hit import and I'll bring this over here. Press S for scaling option and scale this logo at appropriate size. Then select this logo, press Ctrl Shift C to make it a pre comp. I'll call it as logo comp and hit OK. Double click to open this and then press Ctrl K to select the project, uh, project settings, I mean composition settings. And now we have to reduce the size of it. So I'm going to decrease the width at appropriate size. I think this looks good and height also let's decrease it not 100 but let's say okay I think this looks good so simply hit okay and now go to the main animation we will get this kind of stuff and now uh, adjust the size of this logo like this okay now uh, as I said in my intro I am going to use only ellipse tool so let's select this ellipse go to the fill option and with the help of this picker i'm going to select this one and simply hit ok and let's hide this logo first and by holding shift i'm going to create one ellipse let's select this press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically now we need to reuse this shape layer again and again and again so let's see how we can do that so press p for position let's create one keyframe zoom in go to around 20 frames create another keyframe go to the start and let's bring this upwards so i want the animation like this now select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph right click first make sure that you are in edit speed graph select this handle hold shift move this handle over here select this and hold shift and move this handle over here so we will get this kind of falling animation now I'm going to select this and I'll hit Ctrl D to duplicate it. Hit U, go to the last keyframe and then delete those position keyframes. And with the help of open bracket, I'm going to move this layer over here. Then press S for scaling option, create one keyframe, go to around 1.20 frames and we need to increase the scale of it like this. Okay, now select those keyframes and hit F9, go to the graph editor select this and by holding shift i'm going to move this handle over here select this and move this handle over here so if i see this animation now first i'll get this then i'll get this okay now we will select our logo and we will convert this logo layer into 3d double click to open this also convert this layer into 3d select this logo and bring this at the top over here and now i'm going to enable it and i'm going to move this over here now press p for position uh, I mean S for scaling option create one keyframe go to the 1.20 frames and create another keyframe Go to the start at this point and let's make this zero select those keyframes and hit F9 So if you see we will get something like this now go to the graph We need to select this graph holding shift move this handle over here and this handle over here like this Okay, so now if I see this animation from the start, I'll get something like this Okay, now we need to select this layer Go to the effect and presets panel and search for drop shadow effect and simply double click to apply with the help of this picker i'm going to choose this blue color and then select that color again and choose the darker version of this blue now increase the softness like this and opacity i'm gonna stick with 15 at least for now so i'll get this kind of animation and now i'm going to select this third layer which is our initial layer we have created 
now i am going to hit ctrl d to duplicate it and i'll bring this up the top i'll go to this options and over here we need to change the color of this one i'm going to choose let's say c form which is close to the white color in over here and then i'll move this over here because i want one falling animation for this white color also and go to the fill option and we are going to choose white color for this and i want that animation to start somewhere around over here hit u like this now after that select this layer again which is this one and hit ctrl d and at this point i want it should start to animate so i'll move this over here and over here i'm going to choose white color like this so first this then this now select this shape layer and bring this downwards okay now at this point where my white white stuff is properly over here i want this thing to start animate so i'll press p sorry uh, i'll press p for position create one keyframe then press r for rotation animation also and we need to rotate it on y axis so i'll create one keyframe over here and hit u now go to around let's say three seconds i'm going to create one keyframe on position again and in middle of it i am gonna animate this on z axis so let's make minus 1000 and let's see what we'll get we'll get something like this so we'll get this kind of pop-up or let's make this minus 1400 zero, zero, like this okay now select those position keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph move this handle over here this over here this over here and this one over here like this and after this i want a little bit of pop-up over here also so at this point go few frame forwards create one keyframe and in middle of it like over here again move this let's make this minus 100 again so we will get a small amount of pop-up so if i see this we'll get something like this now let's create one keyframe at rotation again over here make sure that value is zero and at this point at the start i'm going to make it minus 180 and select those rotation keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph hold shift move this handle over here and this handle over here so now if i see this i'll get this kind of rotation and if you want a little bit more pop-up you can do that also let's make it 150 and you can select this and by holding alt you can increase the duration of it so we will get like this so let's see first this then this okay now at this point i'll where um, i cannot see properly my logo so i'll double click to open this composition I'm going to hit, but before that press ctrl y why I'm gonna do that because I want to pick up this color code so with the help of this picker I have first select this then double open this and simply select this color code hit ctrl c ok and let's cancel this now select this logo and press ctrl shift d to split this layer select this second one and apply fill effect on it and in this one i'm gonna press ctrl v to apply this color code so now this is like this so if i see this animation i'll get this kind of flip so this is the easy method to create this kind of flippy stuff okay so we'll get this and then this okay now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna select this shape layer again which is at over here and i'll hit ctrl d and i'll change the color of this one to aqua uh, I think these colors are similar so let's choose something different okay this looks good go over here and let's delete those keyframes like this and now I'm gonna move this layer over here press s for scaling option create one keyframe go over here and let's increase the size of it like this and now at this time I don't want fill so I'll delete this fill I want stroke and I'll choose white color for the stroke and let's make the stroke size to 20 for now so we can see this let's select this and we need to bring this over here after this blue color stuff select this so if i see this i'll get this kind of animation and along with the scaling animation i want stroke animation for this one also so i'll go to the search bar i'll type stroke 
and let's create one keyframe and hit you go over here and let's make this zero like this so if i see this i'll get something like this now select those keyframes hit f9 and initially let's make the stroke width 10 only like this now select those keyframe hit f9 select these handles holding shift move this handle over here select this and move this handle over here so if i hit play i'll get this and at this point also i want white stuff animation so i'll hit ctrl d i'll bring this over here let's move this over here and with the help of the speaker i am going to choose this color and hit ok so i'll get this kind of stuff now hit ctrl a to select all of them and enable this motion blur so along with our animations i am gonna get a little bit of motion blur animation over here also and select this uh, i mean this layer which is our stroke and scaling animation and hit ctrl d and let's move this over here select this logo and hit u we'll go over here we will select this layer and now we'll get this kind of animation okay uh, and let's move this a little bit over here like this okay and select this layer hit ctrl d and move this a little bit forward and choose white color but instead of white i am going to choose this color so we can easily see that line like this let's move this a little bit extra like this okay hit u and for this white line select those keyframes and move them a little bit forward so if i see this animation now i'll get this then this now uh, this uh, our animation portion is done now we need a little bit of scaling animation throughout our animation so six second gonna be my final timeline so i'll hit n right click new and create one null object select all of them and make it apparent with this null one select this null one press s go to the start let's create one keyframe over here go to six second and let's make this full one one zero like this so if i hit play i'll get this animation will take a little bit of load to reveal because we have enabled the motion blur so it takes a little bit of time to read all the commands so let's see from the start again yep this is how you can create a simple logo reveal animation inside of after effects with the help of 3d layer concept which i have used over here and with the only one shape so yep that's it for the today's video we will see you in my next video so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video until then stay tuned